How many people have you killed? Oh, come on, don't pretend you don't remember. You don't forget that number. Mine is ten. And I can still see every single one of their faces. It's not any different. I mean, Civil War presents a clear and present danger. Nuclear war represents a clear and present danger, doesn't it? The Constitution of the United States does not allow for the creation of a private army to do the bidding of the president. It does not allow him to govern in opposition to the law from secret, undisclosed locations. I mean, despite our job description, our ultimate loyalty does not rest with the service or the president or even the people of the United States. We answer to an idea scratched on 200-year-old piece of paper, which demands that we protect this country from all enemies, foreign and domestic, to ensure that government of the people, by the people, and for the people shall not perish from the earth. Enemies are enemies, regardless of the stars in their collar or the cut of their suit. In addition to turning neighbors into suspects and suspects into spies, this administration is on the brink of plunging us into a third world war in which a billion people could lose their lives. I will not have that on my conscience. Not if I can do something to stop it.